And welcome back to Center Valley Talk, uh, where we've been here talking for 12 years about things that are good about the valley. And people think we're just Fresno. We're not just Fresno. We're the whole valley, and not just the valley, but the foothills, too, uh, including Oakers, Raymond, uh, uh, Madera, all those areas, Madera County. Our guest, our next guest is Gene Beck. And whenever you come, we end up talking about water. Yeah, I I'm, uh, come down to talk about water because I was trying to get a couple more paperwork done so I could talk about them to yeah. you and to uh, you and everybody else. So. Now you're from Raymond. Yeah. But there's something going on from Raymond all the way up to Oakhurst with the water. Right. Water A Water Company used to own it. That I don't have to say names and stuff, but they had both places. They put in new water plants about two years ago, and uh, and they were manganese oxide water plants. Manganese and oxide. Manganese oxide. Manganese. Um, I was basically trying to talk the county into putting in reverse osmosis systems. A lot cheaper and more effective. Uh -huh. But they would not go for it. Yeah. Well, now, uh, water company, that means they have subscribers or customers that have to or must buy their water from them. Is that right? Yeah, a lot of people don't have their own well or they have a well that's not adequate and they buy water from water company. Now, taking a step back, uh, most people just turn on their faucet. They have no idea, especially if you live in a city. I mean, the water's coming from somewhere. <laughs> it's usually wells and pumps and storage and now treatment as well as all that other stuff. Right. I don't think when I was a kid we had much water treatment in Fresno, um, but uh, now they're dumping rock salt in or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, most of the time they're, most of the time the state water in most cities and then a lot of them uh, use the Great Lake, uh, the state water, and they uh, they do sediment ponds with uh, what they call alum. And <laughs> nobody nobody says anything about what alum really is. They yeah. use it. They use it for coagulant it to get all the sediments out of the water. Oh. But it's aluminum oxide, is what it is. Wow. Yeah, it's just a word that nobody knows what it's mean, but it's yeah, aluminum they, oxide. they've used that for years. So, so if you come from the city, you turn your faucet on, water comes out, but you live just a little bit outside a city limit or an incorporated area, and you either have to have a well or a water company. Yeah, that they give you your water. And so no matter what you do, I've always pushed that you get your bottled water that has says reverse osmosis water on it, or you get yourself a, a small unit that goes underneath of the sink. It does reverse osmosis. Yeah, that's reverse osmosis. And that, tell us what reverse osmosis is. Yeah, and, and reverse osmosis is a, basically a membrane. They push water through it. And I remember, I got one of my notes here that I had from a long time ago. And it's like taking a container and you split it down the middle and you put a membrane, plastic membrane, in between. Mm -hmm. Then you fill it with water on both sides. Now, let's this, this say you fill one side with contaminated water, yeah. let's say salt water, let's say. Mm -hmm. And the other side, you basically put uh, what we would call reverse osmosis, 99% pure water. You can put it on the other side. And if you somehow push pressure against the salt water, it will fill up the RO side. Somehow it passes through the membrane, which I never understood how it passes through there. Cause this is how it does it. Uh, pure water always wants to get dirty, and mm -hmm. it always wants to take on contaminants. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's trying to get a hold of the contaminants on the other side of the membrane. Mm -hmm. And so what it does, it basically draws the water molecule through that membrane. Mm -hmm. But the salt, the cells, you know, will not go through the membrane. Through it, yeah. So it, that's why they call it reverse osmosis. Because it's such a small membrane or yeah. something. Because osmosis is basically, if you drop 
a tablespoon of water into a glass of water, that whole glass of water is has the same amount of salt content through the whole right. glass, not just part of it. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they call it a reverse osmosis, because osmosis is the, is the, the um, definition of that salt spreading out Spreading into through the water. Yeah. Now, um, if somebody buys, I want to come back to what's going on up there in a minute, <laughs> but uh, we don't get to talk to a water expert very often. If you buy water in the store, should you look for reverse osmosis on it? Yes. Because natural spring water, that doesn't mean anything, right? It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. And some of the companies put, they put minerals back in it, but you want to still make sure that that it said it was reverse osmosis at water point, yeah. in the first place. And also you walk up to a machine at a grocery store. Oh, you want to say reverse osmosis? Don't get me into that one. <laughs> but you want that to say reverse osmosis? I would I would just make a clue of not getting water out of one of those one machines. One of those machines, all right. I'd rather go into the store yeah. and pay two bucks for a flat of, yeah. of RO water because you don't know what's in that machine. Right, right. Now, what about distilled water? Well, distilled water is, again, pretty much the same thing as reverse osmosis water, except it's supposed to be closer past the 99% pure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because it's evaporated water and then condensed again. Condensed again, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's... So, you make it sound pretty easy. You want clean water, you get reverse osmosis. Right. But other people have grander ideas, I guess you call it. What happened up there at Oakhurst? <laughs> Oakhurst and Raymond. Before a company that owned the two left the, the establishments, they uh, basically put, got government grants, and they put six to $8,000 water systems in that, that use manganese oxide. For a to get the manganese oxide, yeah, to get the ar arsenic basically out of the water. Right. So and reverse osmosis would get arsenic out. It would get everything out. Everything out, right? It gets the one of the major things that most people think about is the uranium, mm -hmm. and it will take eighty-seven percent out mm -hmm. because it's attached to a particle that's in the water that's right. a contaminant. This comes down to molecules, right, or atoms, or something. Yeah. Something I could, I've never seen in my life. <laughs> that's why I try to come down here and talk <laughs> shop that's real simple to the people. So there's this water system up there in Raymond and Oakhurst and use manganese oxide to treat the water instead of reverse right. osmosis, which would have been cheaper. Well, the RO system would have been cheaper, yes. Yeah. And it would have been more, uh, well, adequate because manganese oxide causes neurological problems, yeah. and especially if it's contained with water. They really don't have anything to make sure that the manganese oxide's out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, they wash it, and they usually have brine left over from washing the manganese oxide. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. They, at least, I've watched Raymond, uh, they don't get rid of the brine that they should take to Kendallman. And they won't do it. Get on. They, so there's this waste product. It's a waste product. It's probably very dangerous. It sounds very dangerous. It's, it causes neurological not, problems. Yes. It's, and well, it's more concentrated, too, because they're basically their wash product yeah. through their manganese oxide beds. Mm -hmm. And so I've been waiting almost a year since I've tested their water, since the water system was supposed to be doing its thing. Right. Well... I sent this to a medical facility to test the water, and they weren't getting rid of any of the same stuff that they were getting rid of that they needed to get rid of. Wow. Even with the plant running supposedly up to par. What should the people up there be doing? Well, take a note. <laughs> take a note. Just the best thing to do is get reverse osmosis underneath your sink or buy the flat of our own water. Uh, By the way, does reverse osmosis membrane, do you have to switch that every once in a while? No, they're good unless you cause a problem with uh, your pretreatment. Okay. 
and then you'll contaminate that membrane, and then you'll have to change the membranes out. Right. It's not a big deal. It's there's nothing there except a spool of, of uh, membrane, uh, plastic membrane, and the plastic membranes made not to have any uh, cancer-causing stuff in it. So. Well, I tell you, Gene, we have a lot of guests on these shows, but you're the only one who talks about this <laughs> subject. And uh, we have a few people talk about water and watch what you buy here and there. And, and, but most of them are trying to sell us some kind of device or machine or, or whatever with things in it that we've never heard of. But, but just look for the reverse osmosis, if you call it a device or system, that you would install in your house if you're going to buy something like that. I yeah, guess. They're, they're three or four hundred dollars. You can buy them and put it, get somebody to put them underneath the sink. They pretty yeah. much last forever, then. Uh, you need to service them, but you, depending on how bad your water is, uh, one or two years, you can change the filters and okay. you're back you're going back. again. That sounds way cheaper than uh, going to the store buying those flats of water. It, huh? It's more convenient because you can use it all for your cooking your food and stuff like that that you really need to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what I was trying to find out is what they were doing with this brine solution. Yeah. In both, I don't know what, I never watched Oakhurst, but Raymond, uh, we we had a picture and we sent one to you of them dumping their basic. Is that the picture we just had up here a minute ago? Probably. Could have yeah. been. Yeah. They, they dumped their brine, brine down in, on the street. Wow. And it's funny, they have a pile of rocks down below, close to their their driveway there, and that's where the water comes out of. Wow. And it floods, oh, that's probably four or five inches of water running across the road. Yeah. So they're going to create a problem one of these days. Yeah. But they dump it every once in a while because uh, most cities, no matter what they do, if they need to turn in their sample mm -hmm. to the state so that they know the state knows their incompatibility and yeah. and and uh, they'll turn off the wells that are nasty and turn on the you know make sure the good wells are on and then they'll take their samples ah i see so yeah. they're kind of controlling and or manipulating the sample a little bit yeah they just about every place that has any kind of public water domain stuff does that it, it's they don't tell anybody <laughs> because they have to they have to turn this this uh, sample in well i guess the moral of the story today is if you're from raymond or oakhurst or that area keep an eye out uh, get educated a little bit and yeah. uh, and uh, ask questions and and uh you know, again, in the United States of America, we have to end up taking care of ourselves again and again. So, And these things were government-subsidized, yeah. paid totally for the government. So now we're getting higher bills, yeah. almost twice as much bills, just so they can compensate. <laughs> well, when you end up with this big pile of manganese oxide, right? Uh, someone's going to have to clean that up someday, and it's going to be back to the government. Yeah, but they you know they do they do all that stuff and they need to keep water running to the people. Uh, it's just that this makes you obvious that you need to get reverse osmosis water or some source of reverse osmosis because that's that is what you want to put through your body than the other. <laughs> well, I never thought of that. We're always grabbing these water bottles, drinking them. But when you go to cook, you're not dumping those water bottles. Usually, people don't think should. of that. They go straight to their sinks because so. it gets more concentrated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gene, we're out of time. Any last thoughts? That's it. I'm glad you came. I'm glad I know a little little bit more about this. I keep working at it. Subject. Um, we'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this. <laughs>